Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the values of x and y that satisfy these two simultaneous equations. Now, to solve this problem, we are going to start with this first equation. What we will do is that we will call this quantity, that is, the square root of x over y d. Now, of course, you know that a square root must be positive. So this substitution comes with the condition that d must be greater than or equal to 0. Now, notice that here we have the square root of x over y, while here we have the square root of y over x. So this is the reciprocal of this. So when we rewrite this first equation in terms of d, we have d minus 1 over d is equal to 3 over 2. Now, to get rid of these two fractions, we are going to multiply through this equation by 2 times d. d times 2d is 2d squared. 1 over d times 2d, this will cancel that. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 over 2 times 2d, 2 will cancel 2. 3 times d is 3d. Now, let us rearrange this equation. We have 2d squared minus 3d minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, we can factorize this quadratic equation. Let us do that using the table method. The factors of 2d squared are d and 2d because d times 2d is going to give us 2d squared. And the factors of minus 2 are 2 and 1. Now, because this is negative, let this be negative. Of course, you know that minus 2 times 1 is going to give us minus 2. Now, d times 1 is going to give us d. And 2d times minus 2 is going to give us minus 4d. And of course, minus 4d plus d is going to give us minus 3d. So we know that this quadratic expression on the left-hand side can be factorized as d minus 2 multiplied by 2d plus 1. And this is equal to 0, of course. And you know that this equation simply means that either d minus 2 is equal to 0 or 2d plus 1 is equal to 0. Because when the product of two items is 0, then it simply means that either one of them is 0 or both of them are 0. So we have that d minus 2 is equal to 0. Of course, when we add 2 to both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to 2. And from here, we have that 2d plus 1 is equal to 0. When we subtract 1 from both sides of this equation, we have that 2d is equal to minus 1. And when we divide both sides of this equation by 2, we have that d is equal to minus 1 over 2. So now we have two values of d that satisfy our original equation. That is d minus 1 over d is equal to 3 over 2. But now let us remember this condition that d must be greater than or equal to 0. That is, d must be positive. Going by this condition, this value of d is unacceptable. So the only value of d that we are going to take is this positive value of d. So ultimately, we have that the square root of x over y is equal to 2. Now, when we square both sides of this equation, we have that x over y is equal to 4. And of course, when we cross multiply, we have that x is equal to 4y. Now, you can see that we have a simple linear relationship between x and y, which we can go on to substitute into this second equation. So we have that x is equal to 4y. That means that we can replace this with 4y. 
we can replace this with 4y and of course multiplied by y and this remains y and of course this is equal to 9. Now from here we have 4y plus 4y times y is 4y squared and we have y and this is equal to 9. 4y plus y is 5y. Rearranging this equation, we have 4y squared plus 5y. Bringing this constant term, that is 9, over to the left-hand side, we have minus 9. And of course, we are now left with 0 on the right-hand side. Once more, we can factorize this quadratic equation to find the values of y. The factors of 4y squared are y and 4y. The factors of minus 9 will be 1 and 9. Now, since this is positive, then let this be negative. y times 9 is 9y. And 4y times minus 1 is minus 4y. 9y minus 4y is plus 5y. And of course, from here, we have that this quadratic expression on the left-hand side can be factorized as y minus 1 multiplied by 4y plus 9. And of course, this is equal to 0. And once more, from here, we have that either y minus 1 is equal to 0, from where y is equal to 1, or 4y plus 9 is equal to 0, from where 4y is equal to minus 9. And dividing both sides by 4, we have that y is equal to minus 9 over 4. So now we have two values of y. We have that y is equal to 1, and we have that y is equal to minus 9 over 4. Now what we have to do is to go back to this relationship between x and y to find the values of x. So when y is equal to 1, we have that x is equal to 4 times 1, which is 4. And when y is equal to minus 9 over 4, we have that x is equal to 4 times minus 9 over 4. Of course, this will cancel that to give us that x is equal to minus 9. So now we have two points that satisfy these two simultaneous equations. The first point is 4 and 1. And the second point is minus 9 and minus 9 over 4. Now let us check our answer. When we substitute this point, that is when x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 1, into this first equation we have the square root of 4 over 1 minus the square root of 1 over 4. Now, of course, you know that the square root of 4 over 1 is equal to 2 minus the square root of 1 over 4 is equal to half. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. So this is 3 over 2, which is exactly what we have on the right-hand side. Now, here we have 4 plus 4 times 1, which is 4, plus 1. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1, that is 9, which is exactly what we have on the right-hand side. So you can see that this point, that is when x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 1, satisfies these two equations at the same time, simultaneously. Now, for the second point, when x is minus 9, y is minus 9 over 4. But remember that when you divide, 
by a fraction it is the same as multiplying with the reciprocal of that same fraction so here we have minus 9 times the reciprocal of minus 9 over 4 is minus 4 over 9 so this is minus 4 over 9 minus here we have y which is minus 9 over 4 times we have minus 9 so this is 1 over minus 9. Now, minus minus is plus. 9 is going to divide. So we have the square root of 4 minus. Once more, this will cancel that. 9 will cancel that. We have 1 over 4. The square root of 1 over 4. This is 2 minus 1 over 2. 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1. This is 3 over Two, which is exactly what we have on the right hand side and substituting this point into the second equation we have minus 9 plus minus 9 times minus 9 over 4 plus minus 9 over 4 minus minus is plus 9 times 9 is 81. So this is minus 9 plus 81 over 4. Minus plus is minus. Minus 9 over 4. But now let us write minus 9 as minus 36 over 4. Because you know that minus 36 over 4 is equal to minus 9. Now, all the three numbers have the same denominator, which is 4. So we can simply deal with the numerators. 9 minus, or rather, minus 9 minus 36 is equal to minus 45. Then, plus 81 over 4. 81 minus 45 is equal to 36 over 4. 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9, which is exactly what we have on the right hand side. So you can see that these two points satisfy these two equations simultaneously. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.